Hi guys, it's Angel B here and welcome back to a new video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at game enhancing better gameplay Minecraft mods. These are for 1.17.1, but a lot of them are available on older versions of Minecraft too. So before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. A lot of you are not subscribed, so let's get to 100k at Christmas and let's get right into this video. So the first Minecraft mod is Waystones and this lets you teleport to another Waystone. You just place it down and it will teleport you to somewhere else. It comes in different materials, you can rename them. There is even a share stone now. Here are all the different share stones. There is different colours. It uses a bit of experience to teleport but you can disable that feature in the config. Next up we have Terraria paintings and are you tired of seeing the same painting over and over again? Well this mod adds 108 new paintings. So up next we've got sophisticated backpacks and the best feature about this backpack mod is that there is storage upgrades and different types of upgrades. You can also dye the backpack multiple colours for different parts of the backpack such as the straps and I think the trimming around the backpack. You can use all the different dyes, you can make it lighter or darker. You can completely customise this backpack. This is the pink one we've just made. And the features about this is you can add these upgrades. These upgrades do different things like they could automatically feed you if you've got food available, picks up items, smelts items and the recipe is pretty straightforward. You can also get the backpack in diamond, iron, gold, and netherite. But up next, we've got Builder's Craft and Additions, and this is a really good mod for if you want a bit more decoration to the game that is kind of useful. It even adds this little arcade machine and lets you play Snake, which is pretty cool. As you can see here to the left, it adds bookshelves where you can actually place the books. It adds regular shelves where you can actually see the items too. It adds cabinets, kitchen counters. It adds a whole new bunch of chairs and tables. You can add little pillows on hedges and half fences. So up next we've got Croptopia and this adds 58 plants that you can get added to the ground like these here for example. It adds 26 tree crops and over 200 foods. Here are all of the different types of fruits, foods, seeds, saplings, jams, drinks, everything you can get in the game. It even adds a little guidebook to help you throughout the game. The next mod I'd like to show you is Apple Skin and if you go over any food item in the game it'll tell you how much hunger that that item gives you. It's really good for determining what's the best type of food in the game especially if you've got so many mods. This next one is called Alex's Mobs and this adds so many new features to the game. As you can see it adds a whole new bunch of items, it adds an animal dictionary which tells you all of the, all of the creatures that this mod adds to the game. It gives you information about them, how to tame them, what they like, what they dislike, how much damage they can give. So many creatures in this mod, it keeps getting updated regularly and also includes nether creatures and end creatures. Such as this one right here, a regular old elephant. Up next we've got Saran Seasons and this adds different seasons to the game, spring, summer, autumn and winter as you can see them all here. Each one has different sub-seasons and can last for about I think seven Minecraft days but it's customizable in the config. If you have other mods installed that adds foods and crops, crops will only grow in certain seasons adding a more realistic gameplay. This next Minecraft mod is called Construction Wand and you can place multiple blocks at once. It has different levels of this so it has iron, stone, a diamond and it just builds so much easier. You can have different modes like horizontal where it just does a line. It does use the blocks in your inventory but if you are in creative it doesn't use your blocks and the recipe is pretty simple. This next Minecraft mod is called Uncharted and it displays a little box in the bottom right corner when you enter a new biome. This does not work in games. Next we've got Prefab and this makes it so you, when you start a world, you start with a starting house. It lets you choose the house you want to start with depending on like the biome or the style. You can add items to this like a chest, a mine shaft. You can disable them by ticking them, you are disabling them. You can click build and it will build you that starter home. Everything is here that you need. It has a farming area, crafting bench, and it also adds a bunch of other things that you do not need to build if you are not a really a builder in Minecraft. Everything's pre-built. You just have to craft the item. 
Some of them are a bit harder to craft than others, but this is like a fish pond. It's really cute. Here is like a mountain house that you would put on the side of a mountain. This is for people who do not really like to build in Minecraft. So up next, we've got the comforts mod. This adds sleeping bags and hammocks to the game. This is so when you are sleeping, it does not change your spawn point. So you can go on really long adventures and still spawn back at your home. And it also comes in a whole bunch of colors. You need the nails in order to put the hammocks up. So up next, we've got this Minecraft mod called Burl Up Suck, and this lets you transport animals and villagers. Hostile mobs cannot be transported. It's just an item that lets you pick up animals. Up next, we've got Camp Chair, and I thought this was just a cute, simple mod where it lets you have little camping chairs next to fireplaces. You can sit on them to rest and add carpet for different colors. So up next, we've got mm -mm 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 mod and it adds these dummies where you can test all your weapons. You can give them armor to see how strong your armor is. It even works with modded items. It'll tell you how much damage they do. Up next, we've got Macaw's fences and gates and this adds some really nice fences and walls to the game. It also adds gates and these barbed wire ones, which actually deal damage and these walls with fences, which are my favorite. Up next, we've got craftable saddle and it literally just adds a recipe for the saddle using string and one piece of leather. It's very simple and very easy to craft. Bottle your XP is up next. And now if you take a glass bottle, shift, right click, it will deal damage on your player and it will bottle your experience in your hotbar. So up next, we've got aquaculture and this is one of my favorites. It adds new fishing rods, a whole new bunch of fish, basically upgrades the whole fishing aspect to Minecraft. You can even get treasure message messages in a bottle and here it has a tackle box where you can upgrade your fishing rod. Here, as you can see, it adds um, treasure chests, loot boxes, which you can get from fishing. And it also adds these fish post signs where you can place the fish you have caught. Here you can see a couple of the fish that it adds, but it adds so many different ones and different ones spawn around different biomes. Up next, we've got starter kit, which lets you join the world with some items, some starter items. You can edit this in the config or in the game by setting your inventory as the starter kit. Up next, we've got anvil restoration. And now this is a really useful one. You repair anvils with iron and you can break them with obsidian. I'm not sure why you'd want to break them, but iron will repair anvils. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. Follow my Instagram and my Twitter. New videos will be coming soon as well. There is not many Minecraft mods around currently, but I have been looking for some good ones and making some really useful videos. Let's get to 100k subscribers before Christmas because that would mean so much to me. Goodbye.